Hi, in this video we are going to learn how you can create a telegram bot from scratch and how you can deploy your deep learning classification model or in short we are going to use ResNet 50 model to classify different classes. So as you can see on the screen we will going to create this bot in this video and you send the image to this bot and it is going to reply with the, um, the class of that particular image. So for example chair, for example this laptop or sometimes of course it all depends on your model how good it is, how good it can classify the things and uh, it is making some bad predictions as well as some good predictions but you get the point we are going to create a chatbot which you can literally use it anywhere anytime unless you have running that python script in the background so we are going to do all of this in python language and you'll see how you how easy is it to do this very easy and straightforward code i'm going to explain you from scratch all right, so let's see how you can code your own telegram bot for classification or you can just uh, deploy any deep learning model you want to just follow this tutorial step by step. So first of all, you will have to open the telegram app. Now you can do this in mobile or in desktop or in web version. It's all up to you. Just go in search panel and search for bot father and you must have this first result with a verification mark. You click on start and now you can read out this but for creating a bot you have to say forward slash new bot and now you have to give the name to your bot i just call this whatever like say i'll call this classification bot and now it is asking for the username or id of course it need to be unique so i'll just say classification underscore bot it must end with bot now i'll hit enter so it says that the username is already taken so as i said it must be unique now i'll just give this very unique name classification ghj underscore bot and okay so we got our token and you just have to copy this token we are going to use this token and this is over the top this link is our bot so yeah we are having our bot with having a start button in this now i'll just close this telegram app we will come to it later on but let's now create a blank python script and I'll call this bot.py and I'll open this in Sublime but you can open it with whatever you want to. Okay so we are going to use a module called telegram so for installing that you have to say pip install python dash telegram dash bot and once you hit enter it is going to use uh, install that module for you and once you have installed we'll just open back our Sublime text editor now we'll just make some import statements so first of all we are going to say from telegram.exe extensions import we are going to import updater you will going to see where uh, why we are just using these classes so first of all we'll say import updater filters and we are also going to uh, import com command handler and then message handler and that's it for now if in case we need anything extra we will just import it on the go now we'll just talk about some basics so first of all if you want to create a command handler so for example if i say forward slash help forward slash start forward slash end forward slash stop whatever so many yes there are so many possibilities so how to do that first of all i'll create for start you can name this whatever you want to but these are the two uh, arguments or parameters you have to give first one is updater and second is const contest so you have to create this function and this function you can just send the any message by the bot to the user who is using that bot by using this updater variable. You just have to say updater dot message dot reply text. So it is going to reply with the text. Now in this you can pass in whatever string you want to. So I'll say welcome to the classification bot. That's it and uh, one more thing i'll do for the help so you'll have a clear idea how to define a uh, command handlers so now this time i'll be having the function for help and i can say just send the image you want to classify okay so we have two functions now we just have to map these two functions to our bot so first of all uh, we have to create a bot right so first of all we'll create a updater variable or object of updater class which we have already imported over there so the first argument is the token so for getting the token just go back to your bot father and this is the token which we want to copy just click on this it is going to copy that token for you and just paste it over here 
and that's it you just have to give this now second you have to create a dispatcher from this updater object you just have to say updater dot dispatcher that's it now to this dispatcher we have to um, add the handlers of start and help so very easy you just have to say dispatcher dot add handler and in this you have to pass in the handler so what type of handler it is it is command handler right so we have to call the class which is command handler and this require two arguments if i hover over this first one is command so obviously for start command i want to deploy this start function which i have already created and second one is i'll just copy this one more time and second one is for help command and i want to deploy this help function so i think help having some problems so i'll just say help underscore yeah that's it now to run this we have to say updater dot start polling and we have to say updater dot idle yeah for running the script you just have to open the terminal wherever your file is located now if you are using pycharm it is so easy you just have to click on a uh, run button but you have to open the terminal in the wherever directory you have saved this file so in my case it's in desktop which is called bot dot py to run this you have to say python bot dot py that's it now once it starts running you will not get any message unless you made any print statement i'll go back to my bot by clicking on this link so this is my bot so it says that connecting let's wait for a moment all right there we go we have our bot now i'll click on start button so we got an error i don't know what it is i'll just run this one more time i think there was some internet issue i'll just clear the screen to clear this mess I just run this one more time to see if it is working fine then if there are any error we'll just get all right so one more time i'll just say forward slash start and yeah everything is running fine we got welcome to the classification bot if i say forward slash help it says that just send the image you want to classify yeah that's it everything is working fine now this is for handling the command if the user sends the command but what if user sends anything else so if user sends anything else message over there what should happen so how to handle the message right i hope you are getting the point so for handling the message of course again we will have to create a function for that of course it is not needed for the current tutorial which is the classification model but i want to talk about this also really quick so you just have to say once more one more time context and updater so for getting the text whatever the user have sent you just have to store it some sort of variable if you want to so you just have to say updater dot message dot text so for getting the text if user have sent the text if user have sent the photo you you'll just store it in photo variable now again if you want to set the text you can just literally copy this same command and i'll just send the same message the user sent to me to just see if everything is working fine i'll also print it on the screen if you want to check it out now uh, to add the handler of a message handler literally it's the same thing just have to say um, just real quick to that dispatcher dot add handler now what type of handler it's going to be message handler that's it message handler and again it takes two arguments now what type of message it is going to be either text photo audio document there are so many right that's why we have imported filters so filters dot text meaning it is going to be of type text and which function you are going to map is called message function so that's it everything looks fine i'll just read on this python script one more time and i'll get back to my bot i'll say forward start to check if everything is working fine or not yeah now i'll send some message some message if i hit enter i get the same message which is some message and also in the print statement so that's how you can uh, how you can access or you just manipulate whatever you can just apply whatever function you want to so for example if user have sent hi you can reply with hello if user have sent how are you you can just update the message with uh, i'm fine yeah you can do whatever you want to now let's move a step forward and just see how you can store the images in your pc and make the predictions out of it so similarly there's some that's why i have told you how you can access the message similar to this if user sends any image you can deploy or add a handler of that photo function so i'll say add handler the filter is going to be of type photo filters dot photo and function i'm going to say image function i'll just create image function so i'll come back over here i'll say define image and updater and now to access the image which user have sent to you 
it is very easy you just have to say use the updater function one more time i'll quickly write that line for you okay so the photo can be accessed by using this updater dot message dot photo and it is going to be a list and the last element we are interested in it and we can say dot get file that's it so simple now to download the photo in your pc you just have to say photo dot download and again you can give the name i'll just call this img dot jpg now if the user have sent the image it is going to store the image in your own pc um, do you want to check it so yeah let's just quickly see if everything is working fine or not so i will rerun this python script one more time i'll very quickly have the image on my pc okay so now i'll send the image all right so i have sent the image and if everything is working fine in the same directory meaning on the desktop i should have img.jpg which i have over here and this is the image which uh, the bot our bot is able to download which i have sent to the user or to the bot i'm sorry now once we have the image we can just load this image by using cv2 or whatever you want to now we can deploy our model over here first of all we require to load this image i'll just import the cv2 because we also want to convert this to numpy array format so to load the image i'll just say img is equals to cv2 dot read since it is in the same directory so we'll just say img dot jpg that's it now we are going to use the resnet 50 model now to use the model it is available in from tensorflow dot keras dot applications in, oh, sorry uh, one more dot resnet 50 import resnet 50 that's it now i will just sort the model by name naming it model equals to resnet 50 that's it now it's going to download the model automatically from their server for only one time other time it is going to store in the cache memory once it is downloaded after that it is stored in our model by naming model it is and now i have this img and i can make the prediction out of it if everything is working fine it should be pretty fine and this resnet 50 uh, inputs the image in the shape of 224 by 224 so i have to reshape the image so i'll just say img is equals to cv2 dot resize first of all i resize the image this img to the size destination size will be 224 comma 224 i'll reshape the array img is equals to np dot reshape this img and the size will be 1 comma 224 24 comma 3 that's it and prediction i'll say prediction is equals to model dot predict and i'll pass this image uh this is going to be of uh having uh, 1000 classes so i'll just have the class with the highest prediction so i'll say np dot argument have i imported the numpy no so i'll just import the numpy also import numpy as okay so everything looks fine now the only thing i need is the labels uh, luckily i have the labels i'll just show it to you okay so i've got this labels dot pi file and it has all the labels of 1000 classes i will just leave the code all the code in down description you can just check it out so i'll just import it from since it is in the same directory you can just check it out this is my bot.py and this is my labels.py so i'll just say from labels import i have named that variable lbl you can check it out from here yeah i want to access this dictionary this is a dictionary now i will pass the prediction from this dictionary since this is a uh, uh, integer value key is integer so i'll say lbl and pass this prediction from here now this must be my prediction so i'll just print the prediction on the terminal print prediction and also one more thing i'll do um i'll say updater remember how you can set the send the message by using the bot so we'll say updater dot message dot reply text this time we are going to reply with the text so it will be reply text and i'll say prediction the predicted class if everything is fine it should run fine so i'll just rerun this one more time i'll get the image of dog category from the internet all right so i have downloaded four images from the internet dog cat ship and aeroplane so i'll send this one by one so i have sent the image of an aeroplane let's see first of all it is going to send then download in my pc and then finally load that image load the model and then make the prediction so it have already imported the model over there and it says that it has sent the message as airliner yeah right now we will send the image of this ship i'll send it says that liner or ocean liner yeah looks fine now i'll send the image of this talk i think it is going to reply with the classy yeah golden retriever right now i'll send this cat 
I'll hit send and it have replied with tiger cat. Yeah, everything is working fine. You can see that it is showing the predictions over there also. Uh, the user can literally send the image and it can store the image in the PC like this and make the prediction out of it. Um, so I hope this is enough for this video. You have already learned how you can create a bot from scratch. And then we have learned how you can access the message which the user have sent. And then we have learned how to, uh, how to access the photo or image which, have the, which the user have sent and how to deploy the deep learning model onto the bot so that you can make the prediction out of it. So that's it for this video. I hope, I hope you have enjoyed this video. So I hope you have learned all of this very clearly and in the upcoming videos we will learn more about the telegram bots. We might create a chatbot out of it. So uh, one more thing is if you want to keep this uh, bot running in the on the internet you will literally have to keep on running this python script and your laptop or pc should be connected to internet so this is it for this video i hope you have enjoyed this part and if you did make sure to give this video a thumb up and i will see you in the next video